Hello guys, the rubber duck has been squeaked, and that means it's time for another video. And squeaking the rubber duck is not a metaphor. <laughs> and now I can't stop laughing. <laughs> what, a, what a nice intro to a video. Okay, I gotta focus here. I got a video to make here, I keep cracking up laughing every time I look at the, the rubber duck now. What did I do? What did I do? So, I hope everybody's uh, launch day has been good and everyone is enjoying uh, Tika Moon Plains. I have a ton of videos uh, sort of in my mind that I want to make. And I'm trying to figure out what exactly to do. I'm a bit tired after uh, the early access and the big stream and all that good stuff. Thanks for everybody for coming out. Uh, but this video is going to be... Uh, a science video actually. Um, there's lots of science to do. I gotta do the whole story again, uh, a bunch of the missions and everything like that. Uh, but I want to do a bit of hints and tips on the bows. Uh, just a few little things to point out. And then another part with the bows is there's that one mission where people have to double lung the Cape Buffalo. And some people are seeing that it's okay and working okay. Uh, with the bow having enough power and all that. So there's been a few screenshots on the, the Discord showing people's success all the way out to about 80 meters or so. Uh, I have done the mission previously, uh, but I was fairly close range. Uh, but other people are having issue with it, and they look like they're making good shots, and it's not uh, penetrating well enough. So I'm wondering if there's any kind of inconsistency there. Uh, so that's what we're going to do. Is I'm going to go through uh, a few just little sort of hints and tips, things that people might have missed with the bows. Uh, maybe in the previous videos since they're so long. And uh, other things that maybe have been missed. And then we're going to go hunting uh, some Cape Buffalo. Just to, to see how we do with the bow. I don't have the mission active or anything like that. But we're going we're gonna to try hunting a few. Okay. I think I've fully recovered from my rubber duck thing there. <laughs> I've been laughing off camera. I can't even make the video. Okay. Uh, we're going to pull out the UTV here. And we're gonna we're just going to uh, get ourselves some... Uh, some of the bows here. We'll go, go over a couple things. So let's get rid of our big boomstick here. And uh, first things first, um, everybody's already probably aware of the three bows. These two are the same, tier two to six. Each one of this is tier uh, two to five. Uh, it should be noted, I haven't fully tested this, uh, the Fair and Wonder, but it still packs a huge punch. Uh, so I wouldn't, I wouldn't hesitate using it with tier sixes. Uh, we might test with this, maybe, but I think most people are using one of these, right? Um, so we'll probably we'll probably do the hunt with uh, with the vortex here. Uh, but what we'll do is in the other slot, uh, we'll grab the fair and wonder because I do want to show one thing real quick. Right, well, there's actually a couple things. Let's put let's put the red dot on both of them and. A couple tips to go over really quick. The first one's going to be hard to show, just because you need an animal uh, to show it. And maybe I'll show it a bit later. But this question's come up a few times, and I did already put it in the video, but it's about half an hour into a video. And I, I anticipated this question coming up. Uh, so if you take out the bow here, and I'll do this one right away so people can sort of see here. Uh, you have your hunter sense dot, of course. And actually, it's right on the dot there right now. I'll try So it's a nice little red one. And they made a change um, that uh, when the little red dot goes over an animal and it's the appropriate energy for shooting the animal, the, the red dot will change color. And the default's a, a beige, sort of um, sort of like a wheat beige kind of color. And what happens is the, the, little, the dot on the screen is so small it blends into a lot of the fur of the animals that are out there because it's the same color. And so a lot of people are trying to figure out how to change how to change the color of it. And it's sort of a little hidden. I did bring it up in the other video, but I do want to show this one right away. Uh, you go into the Accessibility tab, and it's not obvious as to where the change is, but you scroll down to the bottom underneath. It's underneath the Bullet Camera Colors, and it's Bullet Energy here. Even though it, this is indicating the Harvest screen uh, right here, if you leave it at default, um, it'll it'll be the beige. And so what I'll do is I'll leave it at default for now, because uh, I don't think they've changed this. I'm pretty sure that's uh, still the change for it uh, like with the day one patch. And I'll show it a little a little later, because I'll keep it running, and then I'll notice. Uh, it'll remind me to show you. Uh, but this is where the color is. 
uh, the color changes. So I want to just get that right out of the way, uh, change that there. So it doesn't change the hunter sense dot right now. It only changes the color uh, when it goes over an animal that's the appropriate energy level, and it will change it to that. All the colors, uh, I don't find many of them helpful, so I just keep it red. There's a red selection, and it goes from that bright red to a darker, a slightly darker red. I still find it the best, uh, just to leave it red. Uh, so that's just the first tip. I just want to get red out of the way. Uh, the second one, since we're playing with the hunter sense dot, um, if you're sort of newer to the game, or just trying to get a hold on the uh, bows, uh, most likely I'd recommend using the this red dot sight and use the hunter sense dot with it, just sort of get a hang of it. And if you want to know sort of uh, what range you can get on this, I'll see if I can demonstrate it here. Uh, or maybe it's not going to play nice. Oh man, I wonder if they changed this in the patch. Kind of learning as we go here. Uh, so all of my testing was all before the day one patch, and I wonder if they altered this. The distance used to be 127 meters. And it's good to just sort of notice what the hunter sense dot is for distance. And I think this was a stealth, a stealth change. I'm not getting out. Oh, they did too. Ah, oh, I don't like that. That's going to make it harder for people. What is the range on this? So a surprise sort of hit and tip thing because I didn't know this. I just loaded up the, the new patch before it was 123 meters. It is disappearing at about 75 meters. Okay, that makes sense because that's pretty much what you can zero to. All right, that's going to change things. Uh, with that hunter sense dot, you could uh, you could go out and do 100 and 110 meters uh, shots. But anyways, it's good to know now. Unless it's different per bow. Let's take a look at this now. Maybe it's maybe it's different because this is the this is the two to five bow. Here, let's just switch. Doing the science right on the go, right on the fly here. Let's take a look at a few things. Now, is this one different? Oh, it is. Oh, there you go. Significant difference between there. This one's doing 127. Look at that. All right. Use the tier 2 to 6 if you want to do the long shots. The, uh, the hunter sense dot goes out to, yep, 127 meters there. There you go. That's a handy tip, actually, if you want to know. Most people will be using this one anyways. Uh, so that's the number to know, 127 meters, if you want to do shots with this. I just hadn't been using the other one very much, but that's interesting. It, it uh, hunter sense dot disappears at 75 meters. So the fact that the hunter sense dot goes out to 127 meters was my second tip after the little the color thing, but now I got distracted because I didn't realize it was different per bow. Now I wonder if it's different depending on the sight you have on there. So this is a three pin sight, and this brings me to the next one while we're testing that out. Uh, you'll notice the zeroing on the side is done for you, the green dot, uh, yellow dot, and the red dot. Uh, so they display that nice to you. You can't change the zeroing distance. So you got 25, uh, 53, and 71. If you're using the tier uh, two to five bow, uh, the free one, uh, it's not too much different. Uh, the flight of the arrow. The arrows are actually fairly similar. It's just, uh, I believe the tier uh, 6 one is uh, like a more stiff arrow. And it'll display the zero change for you on the left, if you're just wondering. This one's going to be the 25, 55, and 75. Now, since we've got the hunter sense dot there, is it going to be the same? Yeah, I think it is. Yeah, 127, it went out. Let's just check that. So I just wanted to show you, if you're going to use this 3-pin sight, uh, that the zeroing is just displayed there and it's slightly different uh, depending on the bow. When I finally get the, the secret bow, the tier 1 through 4 bow, I will take a look at that too, but it might be a while before I get there. This is going to be the same. Yeah, isn't that something? That is significant though. What a difference in that hunter sense dot if you're using it. I wonder if they're going to change it, because this one makes sense, right? Uh, because this hunter sense dot follows the three pins and disappears after the bottom one. Interesting. I wonder if this is the one that's working right, and then the second one. I wonder why they did that, because that one really makes sense. The hunter sense dot stays between those pins. Like that really makes sense to me. Well, this one it goes down outside of the range. Huh. 
Well, if you're using this scope, or not scope, this site here, I recommend actually using this one without the hunter sense dot. This will give you a better, a better um, feel for the bow, or like a traditional kind of how you'd make the shot. Um, because if you if you're gonna use the hunter sense dot with this site, it kind of removes the purpose of having those pins and everything. Like, why even have them there? Uh, anyways, I just wanted to point that out. Uh, the zeroing is slightly different between the bows. and But not a whole lot. Also, that tier 2 to 5 bow seems to do a, a pretty good job of taking tier 6 animals down as well. And the last tip is, or if it's a repeat for you guys that have watched the, the other longer videos, is of course uh, you can actually uh, use the bow without, uh, without any uh, sight at all on it. And you'll get the hunter sense dot there, and you can also zero in this mode. It'll tilt the bow or tilt the arrow down to go farther, and you get you get a 60 meter uh, shot. And if you didn't want to use the hunter sense, uh, the very top of the arrow is what the zero is, is what it'll hit. And since we're just doing all the testing, let's just see uh, what the hunter sense dot's like in this one. This one will be really hard to do a long shot with because the dot will, well, the arrow will cover up the animal. Let's see here. So, yeah, it's going to be the same no matter what. Yep. Okay. No real point really checking the other one, but I guess since we're here, might as well be thorough scientists on it. So, this could be fun uh, to hunt like this without the hunter sense dot, I think. Let's see. Where is it here? Can I make it pop up? Yep. Same thing. All right. Uh, yeah, without the hunter sense, this could be actually fun to do some close range hunting with. I would keep it just zeroed at 60 and sort of, uh, sort of adjust it, uh, just for like a more traditional feel. All right, that's just a few things I just wanted to uh, talk about with the bows, uh, just because it is some questions that have been popping up, and hopefully that helps a few people. Uh, so now we're on to the testing phase. We're gonna go hunt some Cape buffalo. Now it's not any serious hunting uh, that I'm doing. I am in hunt or. Er, science difficulty is what I'm calling it, the hiker difficulty, and uh, that's I mean it's not really a not really a hiker or like a hunting sort of mode because it, it is fairly easy. You can still spook and everything like that, but uh, pretty much I just need to find some Cape Buffalo. I mean, I'm not doing any serious hunting, but I need to be able to find them fairly easy and then set up at different ranges uh, just to test out how this uh, bow does sort of at different maybe quartering shots. We'll just see what happens here. Uh, the toolkit has not been updated as far as I know yet to include the map, uh, so I still got to do it the old-fashioned way. Uh, I do have a herd down here I looked at. Uh, there's Cape Buffalo here, but he's a single guy. We won't worry about him. And then there's another one up here. This can get a little difficult because of the trees. I sort of want guys that are nice in the open, so I think what we'll do is go over here uh, to the highlands, which uh, the Cape Buffalo seem to hang out in. There was that large herd that was right here. So I think I'll probably uh, drive around out here. All right, here's some targets here now. So yeah, science difficulty. You can sort of, I just drove right up here, peeked over the edge, and they're still kind of hanging out here. So it's good for testing out anyways. Let's just see if there's, you know, just a, like a large guy. I don't actually remember what the mission had, if it was, if it required a mature. Um, this is, most of my map isn't really any old animals. Well, let's, let's start with a female since they're smaller and just see what it does at a, oh, look, I'm getting... I'm getting approached here. Oh, there's another tip. Uh, the, the charging mechanic isn't dependent on difficulty, so even on the easiest difficulty, the chances are the same of getting charged. And so, let's just see here. Where is she? Is she approaching me? Because I want a broadside attempt here. Nope. I wonder if it's... Uh, no, I don't think it matters, male or female. Um... Is she right here? Oh no, she's hiding in this little... Wait, wasn't there... I could have swore I seen a mature female. Am I just being blind? Huh. How am I missing her? Oh well. What do we got right here? This one's nice and broadside. Young female, that's fine. I don't really want to... I'm not really doing a test save. This is like my normal one. I don't really want to <laughs> wreck my herds by taking all the female population down. Is there a male I can do utilize here? Oh, 
Well, for first test, we might as well just try female. Let's just broadside there, and this will be something that uh, situation you'll find yourself in, right? About this distance. What do we have here? Oh, hunter, so we're going to use the hunter sense to make sure the shot's accurate. Hopefully we stop. What do we got? A 70 meter shot? You're going to want to... Oh, there's the color change. I don't know if you can see it on the video. Oh, we'll show this right now. So there's the color change. It shows up okay on the on the buffalo, but if it's lighter color, you totally lose vision or like lose appearance of it. You can't see it anymore. And I'll just show you right now again. This one's fairly important. Bullet energy under bullet camera colors under accessibility. I try out all the colors. I just like keeping it red. Red and red. And then if we open that up here. And it'll just it'll stay red now. So the lungs are gonna be about here. She's just stepping there. Here in the hyena's laughing at me. And she dropped instantly. Alright, so that's uh was that sixty or seventy meters? There they go. We'll just track them down again in a second. They don't run too far. So my science difficulty is so handy. And we'll just check that out and see what happens. 7 meter shot. Um, as far as I can tell, the damage model doesn't really differ from male to female. Uh, I, I think the organs can be a bit bigger, so it, well, I suppose it can a little bit. And maybe some more flesh stuff, but in terms of like hit points, it doesn't seem to be a big difference if there is any. Now let's pick her up. There we go. So, I just mean, I don't know the mission. I think the mission has to be a male. Uh, but there is, of course, this, the smaller of the buffalo, but it had no trouble there. Uh, this isn't to prove anything one or the other. It's just I I thought this mission wasn't too hard. Like, I didn't... I don't know. I didn't think there was an issue with it. And then some other people were, were posting their successful shots. And then I had a few... Um, having issue and uh, so I was wondering it just makes it look like maybe there's some inconsistency going on so that's what I want to take a look at uh, but that worked okay I'm just gonna get the UTV and track them down again and we'll, we'll try a bigger one I think this is a common occurrence out here in the Highlands I've seen a lot of this somebody <laughs> getting stuck on the rocks oh I got out yay oh thought maybe it was gonna jam up again out here I think it's faster just to sprint leave the UTV out of it. Uh, is that them down there? Yes, okay. So they're down here. I'll we'll just go get them there across in the, across in the water. Okay, so we have a young male right here. So I know it's young and it's not going to be anywhere near as massive. But it's going to be a male and I suspect all the hitboxes and everything are the same on a on a young male as they are mature. But I will try and find a mature one as well. There's an adult there. This guy's just broadside. And I do plan on testing quite a bit here. We're just doing the broadside shots at the moment. And we're, we'll do a farther one. So it's within the hunter scent stop. But I want to get a little closer. That's a bit far, trying to land the pixels. You just stand there, buddy. Let's try this, like 110. He just seems to be standing there nice and... Nice and patient. All right. Let's see if we can land this shot right about. Nope. I moved a little bit in there. Right about there. And he dropped instantly. So so far, this is uh, working. Oh, I'm getting charged. Oh no, I'm not. Okay. Phew. Let's just see where they're running. We'll pick him up. Alright, they're going to stop right here. Good old science difficulty. Makes it easy to test things out. And the photo mode's really good. Alright, whoops. I don't want to do that. I'm going to mark. Just uh, so I have a distance to go off there. I bet you I can just drive and get him without even spooking them. That's not bad. That'll be uh, a shot going upwards, so 
Ooh, in the wind. Oh, we'll find out when we get over there. Let's take a look at this guy. Alright, so here he is. So he just dropped instantly. It's probably a double lung with a skull on the first lung, is my guess. Yep, right lung. Go. Landed solid. Right at the bottom of the of the required energy, but blow when it gets to the lung. Yep, so that's fine. Oh good, he's even low fit. Yay! Alright. So that's him down. Now, uh, just to repeat, this this video is not to go, uh, you know, neener, 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 look how easy it is, or anything like that. Uh, it's not what the video is about at all. It was, uh, I, I had enough reports or seen enough on the official Discord of people struggling with it, and it honestly appeared to me like maybe there is an inconsistency happening. Like, is the bow hitting some rib? Like a rib bone and getting messed up? Uh, so it's something I'm really puzzled about. And keep in mind, uh, even though it is a hiker difficulty that I'm testing this on, um, the difficulty has no bearing on how much damage stuff does. It's all the same. Depending on the difficulty. This is just so I can test easy enough. And I really do appreciate the easier difficulty to do this testing on. So let's do the adult male. He's bigger. So there's two adult males. And let's just do a different angle. And then maybe we'll try... Well, see, we got to focus on double lung, right? Because that's the mission. And... So I can't really... There's no point testing other angles, right? Because you got to... That's two for two, anyways. I know one was a small animal. And he's small male. But we'll try a bit bigger here and maybe we'll can find one. So the max range is 127 for the hunter sense dot. So let's go about 125. I'm going to have this bush in the way, though. Okay, let's do that. He's kind of... I think he's going to turn in a second, though, because he's going to bump into something. Okay, let's... Let's give it a go here. I might be rushed on this one, though. That's right... Yeah, I can't see him well enough. I'll line up the pixels. Right... Nice. I'm gonna have to stand up. Okay, hit. Didn't drop. So that one might not count for the mission, but that was at the maximum. Hunter sense dot. Range. And I'm really lining up, trying to line up the pixels, which you're pretty much counting pixels on the screen there to aim. So let's go check out the blood. All right, so it was a kill shot because I do see pink blood. All right, so it probably wouldn't have counted for the mission, but you also wouldn't really attempt that mission at that sort of range and angle. All right, so I'm just going to follow the blood here. Do some realistic tracking with the UDV. He didn't even make it too far. Here, so there is the bow spot. Looks about right. Maybe a little high. Maybe a little forward. I don't know, just high. So what? I, it didn't hit hit the second lung at all. So we might have to retake a long one like that because I didn't land the shot well. But it did take out that first lung. And if I did land the shot decent, maybe it would have worked. All right, let's check him out. So he's... T <laughs> uh, yep, 10%. <laughs> okay, I don't feel bad about taking these guys down. Okay, let's sell him off. And they didn't make it too far at all. They're just up here again. Okay, I'm not sure I can make a shot from here. No, it's too far away. I got one approaching me. Oh, I'm stuck on some rocks, of course. Okay, so we got a long shot here. He's gonna go behind though, and I'm gonna I'm gonna lose the shot. I got two coming out at me here. Huh. Anybody else a choice here? There, oh, is there two one-star adults left? I thought. I thought it was just the the two. Okay. So this one's a quartering away. 
So far, I haven't been charged from these sentry guys that I call them. They just kind of come out and spook. We've got a quartering away one here pretty heavily. Let's try and do an interesting shot. Let's try and go up through the bottom left lung into the right. That could be fun. But he's gonna he's gonna move here. Now this is at max range for the hunter's end dot. And super, super hard. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna range up. Actually, no, I don't, because I don't want to go in the sun. Right. Nope. It's hard to keep that right pixel spot. Good gravy. Oh, guy stepping in front of him. Okay, I seen him flinch. All right. Well, that'll be an interesting one to see. Anyways, now we're doing, now we're doing some really challenging angle shots here, and we're gonna have to find a big mature one, I think, too somehow. Oh, bad shot. Not a big surprise there. His blood just stopped here. So we might as well go finish him off, even though we can't really use him for testing anymore. And, oh, they went down here. Just going to drive up. There's one already kind of broadside here. Try not to disturb him with the vehicle. Alright, what do we have? Okay, there he is. I don't know if that's the one we hit. I don't see an arrow. Where's the other one? I don't know. Back here? No. Alright, well, we'll take this guy anyways. We'll do another long shot. Just gotta get a little closer. Alright, so this is 120 meters. Oh. Maybe this is him. Like, oh, oh. Is that, a, is that an arrow? Oh, that's an arrow. So that's him there. Let's try this guy, because I want, uh, want the test to be untainted. We'll do another one. 120. An adult. One star. But as far as ways you're going to shoot the bow, uh, the bow at, usually you'd always be closer. And we're going to try and put it home. Man. I can never land right on the pixel I want. Okay, he did not drop instantly. Oh dear. You coming at me? You are. Run! Oh. Whoa. Is he still charging? No. So. I assume that's the one I just hit. He's really taking his time, isn't he? So that's probably not a double lung then. So that was pretty much broadside right on. Now, is it inconsistent though, is the thing? Because that was pretty far away. I think he's just, I don't think it's double long. He would have died by now, right? I imagine he would have, anyways. Yeah, I'll just mark him up. I'll give him a minute. Alright, here he is. Let's see what happened here. So it's a left lung. Not a double lung. Just not enough pin there. So this could be... This could be an inconsistency. Hmm. What do you guys think about that one? I mean, the other ones were hitting... just at the bottom of the jewels. Like, it's, it wasn't that... It's not a massive difference in the jewels when it starts hitting. Hmm. This could be an example of it. I mean, it's it's pretty extreme distance. Now, I didn't read what the, the other ones were hitting at, but I did note that they were hitting at the bottom here of the, of the jewel requirements. Hmm. Interesting. 
I'll have to rewatch the video and take a closer look at all the hits. That does seem inconsistent. I don't know, you guys have to let me know on this one. Yeah. I don't think there should have been that much of a difference there. No, not at all. That doesn't make any sense. No rib was hit or anything. Alright. Well, we'll keep that one noted for sure. Another. Look how low fit this, <laughs> this herd is. Huh. Alright. Well, I'm glad I got that one on video. That does appear to be an inconsistency. Okay, we're going to have a little fun with this other guy here. So he's got an arrow in him somewhere. We're going to do a little bit different with him here. I'm trying to figure out what distance to try this at. I'm going to crouch in. This means it's not really hunting in the hiking mode. But it sure does help for testing things out. This should be pretty good. Maybe a little closer. Yeah, this is okay. Uh, so what I need to do is I need to go out here for a second. We're going to go Encyclopedia. We're going to fly down to the Cape Buffalo. I need to analyze something here. Inspect. So he's sitting, he's kind of standing like this. Organs. I'm going to locate the heart. So it's pretty much... The heart's right behind the leg, but the leg bone comes out forward when he's standing straight up, so that exposes the heart. The rib cages are huge, of course. He's quartering away. Okay, that's what we're going to do. I think I got the location. Uh, quarter way up. No, we'll give it a shot. You know what's coming here. You know what's coming. We're going to bring out the 223. This is one I haven't done with the 223 yet. I did greater kudu. Okay, so he's not as angled as I thought he was. Third of the way up. Arm, arm. No, he's going to turn. Okay, he's broadside right on. The leg bone back, I don't like that. Come on, buddy, move your leg. Because that'll go up like this. I don't know if it's blocking the heart or not. Come on, buddy, move a little bit. Maybe I can lay down, steady it up more. Okay, this is good. I need you to move your leg. Hurts right in there. Okay. Ah, no, that's not going to work. He's not even really wounded. He's not running very fast, but I think that's as far as he spooked then. Is there any blood coming out of him? Nope, that failed. It'll be interesting to see what the shot looked like, though. He should be the one with the... the arrow in him, right? I didn't hit the wrong one, did I? I chose him just because I figured I would flesh kill him with the arrow in the 223 shot. How far did they make it out? Okay, so they're still pretty far. Okay, let's mark them up and we'll uh, take another go at them. So, just in case you're wondering, I already brought the 223 out in previously. Um, and I got a, a greater kudu with a 223 single shot. But to Cape Buffalo, I have not been successful on yet. Alright, so here he comes up here. He's looking this way, quartering away. What was I zeroed at? Did I even check that before I took a shot? I guess it didn't matter because I was using the Hunter's Sense dot. I don't normally do that, but... Well, let's try and sneak it in again. Heart's going to be sitting right in here. 
Oh, she says. He's running fine. <laughs> oh, jeez. Run! Okay. So they're not... Whoa! Jeez. That's what you got. Okay, that does uh, give you a bit of a startle. <laughs> oh, really? Okay, you gave up. Right, I think I pestered them enough. Now, this is one of those tests where I should have... Uh, mark their uh, need zones to see if I'm flipping any need zones due to all this hunting pressure. Oh well. Another day. Another day, another test there. So they're going over here. I'm gonna just go check the blood, but I don't think that was good either. I wonder how many sh how many holes I gotta put in this guy. Okay, driving the UTV out here is a little ridiculous. So it's now stuck. Alright, where did... where did I hit him? Over this rock, right? Oh, easily locating the blood. And we just got small clear. Alright. Well, we're on foot now. And uh, we'll keep uh, hitting them, I guess. Oh dear, I've got multiple herds now. This one looks too large, right? Yeah, that looks like a mature. I think. I think this is the herd. Anybody got a arrow sticking out of you? Uh, uh oh, I can't tell. No. Maybe it is this one here. Getting late in the day now. Science taking time. Okay, is it this one? Is it? Oh, I think it's this guy because it only has the one mature in it, right? Mature female? How come I see no arrow sticking out of this guy, though? Can I get him mixed up at some point? Well, I should get on with trying to find a mature one to do an arrow test on. But I just can't resist. Two, two, three, out. There's just no way it's gonna sneak in here, right? Oh, there's no way. No way. Right? Are you gonna... bleed out or not? Oh my god, bad shot. Oh, I'm getting charged again. Can I hide up on... This rock. Hey guys. Like I'm assuming you can't get me here. Right. Okay, so they're gone now. And I wasn't really watching where the herd went I wanted. What's that zone? So I think the guys I wanted went this way. Alright, we're going to uh, stop fooling around with this guy. Alright, what is this zone? Oh, honey badger. Of course it's honey badger. So, I've hit him many times. I figured I would flesh kill him by now. Huh. Alright, I guess we'll hit him with the arrow again, because that's just getting silly now. Alright, over this way we go. Here they are. They're coming out to check me out. So this is the guy. Good chance, or uh, a uh, good, good opportunity to check out the different uh, fur variations. So this guy is definitely a newer looking fur on the young here. And then I guess mature goes this really dark, but 
I thought uh, the adult Cape Buffalo went really dark too, I thought I seen. Maybe there's different shades of adult. Hmm. Anyways. I really should resist doing the 223 <laughs> again. Always oh, trotting away now. Did you guys give up on me? Was that your thing there? Well, let's get uh, let's get the bow out. And I'm sure if we hit him anywhere with the arrow, it should do the job now. Can we just put it right in the heart to the front? Maybe a lung. Okay. You have got to go down now. Yes, okay. There's the arrow. Let's watch it. You can't really lose them <laughs> with this all these blood cones. Alright, pink, so that one got through. Alright, let's go finally get him and see what in the world's going on with all those shots. <laughs> Look at this path, that's funny. Okay, so he's just laying down there, he's gonna, he's gonna die out there. So, now I'm really not gonna track this one down, because this is just gonna be silly. Mature female, 150 out, two two threes coming out. We got one more try. It's not gonna work. But, uh, it's fun to try anyways. Oh, I've got the leg bone coming up there. Can I lay down? Okay, that's fine. Okay, I hate the big cross in the middle. Hard to see. Should be right here. Nope, didn't work. <laughs> That had to have been going right there. Seriously. Eek! Which one are you? Are you the one that's bleeding? Oh no. Oh, you're bleeding now, I guess, because... <laughs> Hopefully you're not, uh, like, a super high fit one that I just wrecked the trophy on. Alright, so, he would have got up and ran away, but he's uh, going to leave a big long blood trail. Yeah, you can't really lose the blood trail on hiker difficulty, can you? <laughs> it's just, just no way to, no way to get lost here. Oh, there he is! Are you still running? Oh, there he goes. Okay, he finally gave up. Man. Yeah, let's finally see what happened to this guy. Who's laughing at me? A honey badger. Wouldn't it be funny if I got taken out by a honey badger right now? Two star mature. Hmm. Okay, let's see uh, what happened to you, buddy. Shot one. The two, two, three. So, not surprising. Didn't do much flesh damage. And I miss the heart. Ah, oh, too far forward. And it didn't even get there. Okay. <laughs> I, th I, think, I think we're just going to conclude. Big surprise. The 223 can't do this. But it was doing... I was able to do it with... Uh, the bison in Aurora Shores. And they're a bigger animal. But these guys require more jewels. What's number two look like? No wonder he didn't do... Hey, where's the arrow shot? Wait, wait a second. Did my arrow hit a different... No, well, that makes sense now. My uh, arrow must have uh, hit a different one. Alright, so I wounded a different... Different uh, buffalo. Well, yeah, looks like the heart's... It's just nowhere near. Okay, we're going to rule out... We're going to rule out this. There's just no way. <laughs> Just no way. Oh well, I thought it'd be funny. But you can get the buffalo with the 223. I wonder why uh, no one hears the shot. It did an artery shot. And, oh, it didn't quite flush it either. Man, these guys do take a lot. These guys are definitely taking a lot more than the buffalo and the 
And Aurora Shore is 55%. That's fine. Man, this was a low fit herd. Alright, so the sun's going down, but there is one more. There is that other group that was right up here. I'm going to see if there's a, a mature bull in there. Hopefully I don't get taken out by this badger. Maybe I should take him out. Actually, let's see if he'll fight me. Alright, come here, buddy. Two-star mature badger. I don't think they live that long, right? So if he was uh, mature and high fit, he probably wouldn't stay at two-star very long at all. Alright. You gonna fight me or run? Look how happy they are. Oh, he doesn't even know I'm here. Hi. Alright. Oh, that's kind of cute. Didn't, didn't really do anything. Okay. Oh yeah, the buffalo herd's right over here. Are they out of my spotting range? Yeah, let's get a little closer. Well, we did learn something today. The 2-2-3 two, two, definitely can't do it. Maybe brain shot, though. So, so that's not the end of everything here. Try the brain shot. A two-star mature. Alright, let's get some... Oh, the wind. The darn wind. Alright, I'm going to get some elevation on these guys. Ooh, and get this zone up here. Okay, there's a one-star mature in here. Just out of range. The coloring I'm finding is very unique. Like, there's a young, and here's an adult. Right? Mature's there. But there's an adult female that's black. And we got this guy. Okay, these guys are all clearly young. Anyways, he's within range, but that's a quartering shot, and we want... I'm not going to have any chance here, though, darn it. The wind's going to... To do a quartering shot, the wind's going to go at them. And the wind, no doubt, works just like any other difficulty. Okay, let's get ready. We'll try it anyways, because it is coming around quite broadside. She's going to step right in the way. Okay. Right. Nope. Right. Don't go. Trying to make sure the shot goes well. Come on, stop. <sighs> Don't you turn. He's turning. You bugger you. Probably probably caught wind of me. Well, I'm not going to give up on him. We'll just spook him to a different spot, probably. All they're going to do is run out into that open anyways. Okay, did they run? They should be running. Maybe not? What are you guys doing? Did you spook yet? I think this is just not a spook, it's just the scent doing it. So there he is. Alright, maybe we'll watch him a bit here, see if he'll turn to the right. Okay, if we, he stops, we'll have a shot. It's kind of far out though. And they're going to catch the wind again. Come on, everybody, just stop. Get the bow out, because... Ah, no, he's too turn. Frustrating. I'm not going to be able to do anything while they're downwind of me. There they go. That's fine. Let's see where they end up, and I'll come from a different angle. You shouldn't run too far. Okay, here we go. The wind's not great, but I don't think they can smell me here. We're getting within range. I want to be a little closer, something more reasonable someone would take the shot at. He's right there. 
This can be done maybe 100 meters. Hopefully I don't stir them up. Oh, they're looking. Okay, so they're gonna approach. That's fine. 100 meters. Let's try the shot. This guy gets out of the way. Okay, long shot. And there. You dropped. Okay. So this will be interesting to see because he dropped right down. So that's gonna that that right there indicates uh, like an instant kill on a lung, right? The very first lung that it hits, just like the other ones. I'm just curious if it was within the jewel range. Or right at the bottom. Yeah, like the other ones. See, the other one wasn't that much different. And it was quartering in. Oh, but it doesn't count, right, for the for the mission? Because it's got a double lung. It does seem a little consistent, do or inconsistent, doesn't it? I mean, it's reasonable to kill, but how come the other ones... Hmm. It's just got to be closer, I guess. I mean, maybe... Since the jewels are so low, that each each jewel counts for a lot. That could be it, eh? I mean, if you're up here a bit more, like 120 or something like that, it probably busts right through or something. So that's interesting. I mean, you still get that lung kill, but it it was a quarter shot too. Hmm. I don't know what to make of that. Good money for this guy, too. 42%. Almost a thousand kilograms. Alright, we'll sell that guy off. Alright, I guess that's good for that episode. Another short little video. Uh, I don't know, did we learn anything? <laughs> we learned 223. Two, uh, no go on that for Cape Buffalo, unless I guess you're going to try Brain Shot. And I'm, you know, undecided on this bow. I'm thinking that the jewels just count for a whole lot more, right? Just a five jewel difference is significant, maybe. Mm, not too sure. Uh, the reports on the, the, the Discord, the ones that were having issues, seem to be fairly close to the buffalo. So, I don't know what to make of that. Don't know. Let me know anyways uh, what you think about all that. Uh, but I'm going to shut that off now because it's getting close to an hour long video. Uh, which, of course, I didn't intend, but that's just how it goes. Uh, so I hope you guys are enjoying uh, Tika Moon Plains, and uh, happy hunting everybody, and take care. Good luck with this uh, buffalo mission when you get to it.